Cool. I don't know what else to say. G'day, my name's Walters. <laughs> Yo, what up? <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be doing some paddling. Uh, two paddles and a set of double gates. We're going to tack in the top rail and the gates just so we can get a nice even line since we are on a bit of a slope here. And we'll be doing it step by step along the way. So, just marking the post. We like to put up, oh, if the marker works, yeah, there we go. We like to make our top gap a bit bigger um, just looks better than being an even four rail just gonna work on top like that just leave it looks good like that that's us done <laughs> um, now we're gonna get the angle because there's obviously a quite a large angle and if we try to cut it straight we'd have a massive gap so to get an angle hold the cutter rail Level, we get our measurement from the bottom of the rail to the top of post, 215 mil. So we go 215 divided by 3 times by 2. So that gets us 2 thirds. The reason we get 2 thirds is because we've got a 2 meter cutting deck, but we use 3 meter rails. So we need to find 2 thirds of the measurement we just done then, which is 143.333. We go over to the cutting deck, measure that, so we can get our distance on the stopper so we get our angles right, hopefully. Cool! <laughs> so this is the back end of our cutting deck. This is the stopper. 143.3 mil. Just make a little mark. Slide it up. Lock it in. As you can see, it's on the angle. So if I measured it right, done all the math right, once we make our cuts, measure it, should slot in there nicely. So this is our measuring stick. Put that on the top, slide that out. Close to the line as you can. With ours, it's got a little thumb holder, so we can hold it one-handed. And lock it. And hopefully, that should be the measurement. This is gonna set the angle for when we go to measure and whatnot. If we just try to use it off this, it's obviously a straight cut, straight from the factory. So we'll make our first cut, do our scallops, and then we'll measure it, flip it, go from there. Yeah. 
cut it. Uh, I noticed that my angle is just a tiny bit off. So for our next cut, I'll just adjust the cutting back to suit. So now we've got it cut in. We'll tack this top rail in. We'll tack the top rail in down the bottom. We'll also tack our gates in. So you can see if it gets a nice even, nice flow to it. Um, the reason we're tacking them in is if it doesn't, we can adjust either or other accordingly. Why are you using MIG instead of stick, Dave? MIG, you just pull the trigger and go. You don't have to stop every length of the stick. The pros of a stick is there's less stuff that can go wrong with it. Personally, I think MIG's faster. Um, more people can do it. Now we're on to our second panel. As I said before, I'm just going to do the top rail. Just repeat the exact same process as the panel up the top. So now just going to tack the hinges on the gate, tack all the gates up. Um, if you want to learn how to swing a gate, we've made a video on it, I think it was a couple of videos ago. So let's go check that out. So now we've tacked it all in, we just looked at our angles. It looked pretty smooth, except for this top one here. So we might raise it up 5mm and then drop the top down 5mm, just to try and make it run a bit or flow a bit better. It's not much you could do with the flow of the ground and stuff or the terrain and stuff like that. Just try to make it flow as good as we can wherever we can. We'll cut the tacks on this and drop it 5mm and then raise this then 5mm just to try and flow it a bit better. Yeah, we'll give that a crack. Yeah. Tacked it all in, got all our angles right and stuff. We're gonna start filling in the rails. Now there's two people here. I'll be welding them in, tacking them in. And Dennis is gonna be measuring them, cutting them, and then tapping them in. So I, all I really have to do is tack and weld. So the next rail we're gonna do is the bottom one. We go top first, so when we tack it in, it holds the posts in place. So the reason we put the bottom rail in first, it's not supposed to be spreading, holds it in place, and it's just easier to put the rest of the rails in. Now I've welded them all in. Obviously still got all the slag there from the welder. Um, used wire brush on the grinder to clean them all up. Then we'll paint them um, just so they look better and they don't rust. Now we've welded all the rails in. We've cleaned them, painted them. All ready to go, we're just gonna chuck some caps on, chuck a stay on the end, and then it's gonna be all ready to fence. Cool! <laughs> yeah, well, today we're gonna to be doing some paddling. Yeah, my friend is ASMR paddling. <laughs> <laughs> Double gates. Um. Fuck. <laughs> the, um. What do you call that back? The, the stopper? Yeah. yeah. Um, Let's hook into this! 